So, listen. Um, <laughs> so, I don't know how long ago this was. I want to say like six months ago, maybe. It was a while ago, though. I invited um, Dr. Umar, who I was an actual fan of. Um, I invited him to come on the Godcast. Now, he might have thought that he was going to come on there and I was just going to let him, you know, use my platform to promote whatever he want to promote, you know, to, to, to do his spiel, you know. And although the brother says a lot of good shit. Um, concerning black people and all that. He says a lot of good stuff. When it comes to... Um, when it comes to him having this school that he keeps talking about, this Marcus Garvey Frederick Douglass school, um, there was a lot of people that had questions about it, including myself. And when people knew that he was going to come on my show... They wanted answers, as did I. Now, also when he came on my show, he didn't know that my father-in-law has already done what the he's trying to do. He already started a school. He's had his own school in Brooklyn now for damn near 36 years, some crazy shit like that. Okay? But he started at levels and all this type of shit. And he did it with much less money. This man supposedly had $750,000 that he got from the black community over six years. And has, give, and has opened nothing. So I brought him on my show to try to get some answers, also to offer him resources. I spoke to my uh, father-in-law prior to that, told him he was coming on. My father-in-law said, listen, if he, you know, if he, uh, if he wants some help, if, he, if he'd like to sit down and have a conversation, I, I'm willing to tell him what I, you know, to basically share his knowledge. And his resources, because now my father-in-law is the type that this man's able to, his fundraising, he's able to get a couple million a year. Every year he's getting funds like that. And not from no, you know, uh, government agencies and all that. From, from donors and shit like that. Black people. This is a black school we talking about. Um... So I offered assistance. You can go watch the show. It's got plenty of views. Um, basically, Umar got on my show and acted like an asshole. Um, and acted like he don't want no help. He don't need no help. And he ain't going to give no answers if you're not a donor. That's the attitude he gave. Um, and basically, he ended up playing himself on my show. I didn't attack the man or nothing like that. But he got real defensive and he's still butt hurt to this day. So here's the thing. So he comes on my show. Thank you, bro, for joining or whatever. Um. I might get some people later. But anyway, um, yeah, so he comes on my show, plays himself, right? Then he does a video, I don't know, a little while later talking about he's disappointed in Lord Jamal and all this type of shit that, you know, he did an interview with somebody else and he, you know, he calling me a hater and all this type of shit. You know, 
I ain't say nothing about the video. You know, I said, oh, man, it's, it's, you know, he's still a little butt hurt or whatever. You know, we're going to let him, we're going we gonna to let it, you know, he'll get over this shit. You know, people was hit me about Umar, especially after his Breakfast Club interview. Because, again, he went on the Breakfast Club and he said a lot of good stuff. He says a lot of good stuff. Like, I agree with a lot of things he says. It's his ways and actions when it comes to this school and how defensive he got when questioned about it. That's what I don't agree with. I think he's uh, very intelligent and has a, a good, um, you know, understanding of the problems in the black community and all that type of shit. And, and he talks a good talk is all I could say. Um, but when it comes to walking that walk or building the school, you know, I think he's allowing his ego, you know, to stop him from getting the help that he needs. I think he's taking too much money and f***ed off money and, and, um, you know, he's to the point now where he don't want nobody to look at those books because he's going to expose himself. You know what I mean? I don't know if he's a scammer. I think he's somebody that might have had a good intentions and he was just not good with money and shit like that. You might be smart in one area and dumb in another, like, you know, and, and it's okay. Like, we need a fucking community of people to do certain things. We can't do everything on our own.